Hello children, I will continue the lesson through height. So, let me start from 9th paragraph. Already I have completed 8th paragraph. Right? So, 8th paragraph, last few lines if you could see, his mother was, mother always used to tell him to take deep breaths when he felt tense, anxious or even scared. So, as Michael Stone was feeling so tense and anxious, he was so anxious, right? He was participating in that um, pole vaulting part competition and he was on the runway. That was the, his turn to jump and to get the record or to get the prize. He need to win that game. So, but at that time he felt so tense and also so scared also. But suddenly he could remember his mother's advice. What was that advice? To take deep breath. So, he did it. Here he is there in ninth paragraph. So, he did. What did he do? He, he has followed his mother's advice. Why? How? How could he follow his mother's advice by taking deep breath along with shaking the tension from his legs. Not only following the advice but after the taking deep breath, what did he do? He just shook his tension from his legs. He has shaken and after that he gently laid his pole. So, he has taken his pole also at his feet. He began to lean on his pole and he stretched out his arm okay? and also even upper body also he began to stretch so that he can make ready to jump over that particular pole. The light bridge as he was doing like this the light bridge that was once there was now gone. At first, the light breeze was there, the air, but now it is not at all there. He felt relaxed. He could feel a trickle of cold sweat running down his back. So, yeah, he is completely filled with sweat. He was sweating. So, at that time, on his back, he could feel something small drop of water, you know, the sweat, the one drop of sweat, it was running down from his, on his back could feel that and he carefully picked up his pole. The pole that has been kept in front of him, he carefully he took his pole and after that he felt his heart pounding. His heart began to fill with heaviness. He felt like that because of his anxiety. He was sure the crowd did too. Even the crowd, the audience who are there gathered to watch this game, the competition. So, even they also did the same thing. The silence was deafening. It became more, the silence would become more noisy. When he heard the singing of the some distant robins in flight, he knew it was his time to fly. So, at that time he could hear some beautiful birds are singing. So, he came to know that that was the time to fly. As he began sprinting down the runway, something felt wonderfully different at familiar. So, here sprinting down means, so he began to run at a very high speed, but for a short period. He began to run with heavy speed, but for a short time. So, at that time he felt some so wonderful it was, it was a little bit different, but it is not unfamiliar for me, it was familiar for him because so many times he might have participated in so many competitions like this, so many pole vaulting competition he had participated, so it was not new for him, new to him. The surface below him felt like the country road he used to dream about. The rocks and the chunks of dirt, the visions of the golden wheat fields seemed to fill his thoughts. As he was jumping, 
he was flying over that he could remember his dreams now the dreams have come true the visions the gold field the third paragraph we have seen right uh, uh, what type of dreams that he could uh, get when he was child dreams of flying because his mother was telling all the stories about flying so he loved it now all the dreams have come true so have you observed here everything the writer has given he felt like this uh, if he, uh, he felt they didn't write like he could see he saw he had seen right we can't see the word s e e c r s a w saw so everywhere they have mentioned he felt means michael for michael stone felt but they have not written michael stone had seen he felt everywhere they have written felt felt right so what could be the reason let we will come to know about it wait wait and see when he took a deep breath it happened he began to fly his take off was effortless okay when he began to fly that fly the take off means he was flying right is no is not on the floor is not on the ground now he is in the sky air it was effortless hmm? so easy and michael stone was now flying he is not on the ground now he is in a flying mode flying position just like in his childhood dreams but this was real in his childhood he used to get the dreams of flying but now he is flying really his flying is real it is not dream everything was moving in a slow motion it is not fast or rapid it was slow motion but this was real everything was moving in slow motion the air around him was the purest and freshest whatever atmosphere whatever the breeze the cool breeze is there that is fresh he had ever since earlier he never had such beautiful atma experience now he is feeling and michael was soaring with the majesty of an eagle the dignity of a eagle no that was felt by michael he was soaring with that great dignity of eagle it was either the eruption from the paper in the stands or the thump of his landing that brought michael back to earth okay with great happiness he could able to came back to at come back to at on his back with what wonderful hot sun on his face he could only imagine the smile on his mother's face and hear his dad's laughter so at that time also he didn't see the uh, smile on his mother's face but he could imagine got it he could imagine his mother's smile and also father's laughter but one thing is that what he couldn't know that his father had hugged his wife and with cried he was crying but it is not a sad moment but it was the tears of pride he felt so proud of this father sons success michael was immediately swarmed by people hugging and congratulating him on the greatest accomplishment of his life so immediately michael stone was surrounded by people the people were hugging him and congratulating him on the great was greatest accomplishment greatest success in his life after that he later went on to clear 17 feet 6 and of inches that day a national and international olympics record with all the media attention and heartfelt congratulations michael's life would never be the same 
right everybody began to congratulate him on the media people and all they came and they began to take interviews they began to appreciate him admire him oh that much congratulations he could able to get so after all these congratulations and appreciation his life never be seen right definitely he would have become popular it was not but important thing here is it was not just because he had won the national junior olympics and set a new world record and it was not because he had just increased his personal best by 9 and of inches these are not the three reasons why his life will never be the same why there was one reason is there what was that reason this last sent it was simply because michael stone was blind michael stone was blind understood so in spite of his blindness he could able to get the success and he could able to see his greatest accomplishment in his life so in spite of his disability he was successful so that was the good lesson so um, we need to learn we should not be always getting uh, telling excuses for our success or any other things not accomplishing the things so in spite of all negative points you should be able to get the success you should keep on move forward press on towards your goal don't be telling always the excuses lame excuses and facing the failures right so that is not the good thing so we can learn so many things from the life of michael stone great things right being a blind man he was successful in his career then why not you why not you so here the writer is asking the question because of his lesson through his lesson okay so be brave and courageous don't be telling all the lame excuses okay hope you will see great success in your life thank you